Hey there, my name's Taylor and today I'm going to show you how I put together my greenhouse using a Millsville cabinet from Ikea. So the whole reason I got this cabinet in the first place is I really love alocasias and anthuriums, all those plants that require a lot more humidity. They're just so pretty. Um, but my living room is huge. You can see it's just one big room and then my kitchen is over there too. So it's kind of hard to keep the humidity super high in this room. So I wanted a more controlled environment where I could just regulate the light and the humidity a lot better. And then also making sure it looks nice. So hiding all the cords, trying to figure out ways where it wouldn't look super messy. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I've had it for a couple weeks now and it's been doing really good. Everything that's in there has been showing lots of new growth and I'm pretty sure they're, they're pretty happy in there. So I'll go ahead and show you what I did. Now, I didn't film me actually putting the cabinet together. I got too excited when I got it and I just immediately started and didn't even think to, you know, record it. But um, fortunately, the, the instructions are pretty self-explanatory. I would recommend drilling the hole before you put the glass on. I didn't um, and it went fine, but it just would have been a lot easier if I didn't have to worry about, you know, making sure the drill wasn't hitting the glass. And then the only other thing I thought I would mention is to, when you're putting the top on, that top section, um, leave the screws a little loose, just because when you go to put the glass in, you need to have some wiggle room or else they just won't fit. Um, and the instructions don't really specify that. So you can just keep that in mind when you're putting the lid on, keep everything loose, have some room for the glass to put in, and then you can tighten them up again. I would say try and find some earplugs and safety glasses just to be careful because there are little bits of metal kind of flying around and it is super loud so those are nice to have. So it took me about 10 minutes to get through both layers of metal. I tried to go slow so that the hole would be nice and clean and now it's ready to have wires going through. Up next was getting the shelves ready so that I could get an idea of how I wanted to arrange them. These are from Modern Aqua. They're acrylic shelves about 3 8 of an inch thick. And honestly, I've been loving them. They're so clear that they're not as obvious as some of the wire shelves that you see, but they still have those holes in them for ventilation, which is super nice. You know which side goes in the back because there's this little nub where the wires will go through. So I decided to do it with two full shelves on the bottom and one diagonal on top. I think that'll be nice for some bigger ones to go on that left side and then other ones to just fit wherever. So now we'll go and put in the lights. They come with little sticky pads on the back that you can use. Um, so we'll just attach these to the roof of the cabinet right away and put in the extension cord. It will take some finagling with the wires to make everything nice and clean. To give you a closer look, this is the wire that connects the two and I just kind of like folded it up so that it would be out of the way and a little more hidden. And then as you install the lights with the shelves, you'll just weave the cord through that little opening that's made for the wire to go through. And then you can just work your way from the top to the bottom. So I did have a power strip laying around and some extra smart plugs. I like the Govi brand, but next time I would get one with two spots on it so that I can plug both the lights and the fans in and then run them on the same timer. So the way I have it right now, the lights are on for eight hours and then the fans just stay running. So for the cord hiders, I just cut them to size. I kind of eyeballed it and used some wire cutters that I found. 
and then you can just go ahead and peel the paper off, stick them directly onto the cabinet, put your wire in, and then put the cap on. Here is the finished product. I'm pretty happy with how it looks right now. I know there's some more cable management that could be done down here, but it doesn't really bother me just because it's at the bottom and I'm sure there'll be a plant in front of that anyways, so. But it looks pretty nice. It's well lit up and it's ready to go, so let's fill it up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful if you're planning on building your own IKEA greenhouse. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you're looking for more plant-related um, content, you can check out my Instagram or my Pinterest.